When Penny Hamill arrived at the University of Miami in 1980, she was already hailed as one of the top junior golfers in the country. Future UM teammate Pam Elders got an early look at one of the greatest golfers in Hurricanes history. First time I ever met Penny, I played in the Women's Pub Links tournament in South Carolina. I was 18, I think Penny was 14 or 15, and uh, first, that was the first time I ever met her. She, at 15, she was unbelievable. She was a really good uh, a junior player, and uh, she was a great recruit when uh, um, uh, she was recruited here. And I think Penny knew how to win. Penny knew how to play. You know, there's a lot of people that stand on a range and they hit one great shot after another. But Penny knew how to play golf and how to manage a golf course, and I think that was the strength, that she knew how to manage a golf course and how to make it happen, and, and that's what she did. Before coming to Miami, Hamill had already won four junior tournaments, including the 1979 Junior Orange Bowl. Her teammates knew of her reputation. Uh, as a person, we all, we all were kind of worried about her because she was real quiet. We thought she was a little stuck up, and we were all figuring out how we were going to break her in, coming in the door. Coming from Illinois, it was like cornfield country, so we were debating on how we were going to do it. So her first initiation was uh, Betsy Barrett and I took her to the movies, and we told her she had to sneak in a six-pack of beer. We didn't think she'd do it. She did it. <laughs> we thought for sure she was too shy to do that. When I arrived at uh, the university back here in, in, the, in, in the summer of 83, and they had a luncheon to introduce me as the new coach, um, the first thing I was told was that Penny was very, very quiet and she wouldn't talk. Well, I sat next to Penny at lunch and I have to tell you, she never stopped talking and the next day we went out and played golf together. So, I mean, I always think about that because Penny, you know, everybody thought she was this real quiet girl, but underneath, Penny had a little zest to her. <laughs> Hamill went on to fulfill her promise at Miami. In the 1983 NCAA tournament, she came from three strokes down, entering the final round to win the individual national championship. Then in 1984, Hamill led the Lady Hurricanes to the NCAA team title. She was just a great player, and she has all the confidence in the world. She just never thought, I mean, if she had to hit it through a little narrow opening, she knew she could do it, and there was no doubt in her mind, and her short game was always phenomenal too. Hamill finished her Hurricanes career as a two-time All-American. She was selected by Golf Week magazine in 1983 as Women's Collegiate and Amateur Player of the Year and won the 1982-83 Broderick Sports Award as the Outstanding Woman Collegiate Athlete in Golf. Hamill joined the LPGA Tour after her senior season and was named Rookie of the Year in 1985. She now has three LPGA victories to her credit. She has to rank up among really one of the best because she really had it all. She uh, was a team player. I mean, you go out and you play golf for yourself, but you also go out and play for your team. And she was able to do both of those. And uh, as I say, she was a team leader, whether she realized it or not, quietly she was. And uh, she was just a pleasure to have and I think really uh, um, a, tremendous, a tremendous asset that the University of Miami was able to recruit a Penny Hamill. Tonight, entering the University of Miami Sports Hall of Fame, Penny Hamill.